Let us first of all go through the theoretical portion of trigonometry. The short names of the trigonometric ratios like sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, second and cotangent are denoted as sine, cos, ten, cosec, sec and cot respectively. These are the six trigonometric ratios that we have. The trigonometric ratios for an angle theta in a right angled triangle. We know that if it is a right angled triangle, then obviously the remaining two angles have to be acute angle. That means the condition for theta over here is that it is it should be an acute angle. Sin theta is equal to the side opposite to angle theta and upon hypotenuse. That is going to give us BC upon AC. Same way cos theta is equal to side adjacent to angle theta upon hypotenuse that is AB upon AC. Tan theta is side opposite to angle theta upon side opposite to angle adjacent to angle theta and that is going to be BC upon AB. Whereas cosec theta is inverse of sin theta that is hypotenuse upon side opposite to angle theta that is AC upon BC. Whereas sec theta is inverse of cos theta, that is hypotenuse upon side adjacent to angle theta, that is AC upon AB. Whereas cot theta will be inverse of tan theta, that is side adjacent to angle theta upon side opposite to angle theta, that is AB upon BC. It is very much necessary that you need to remember this trigonometric ratios in the terms of sides of a right angle triangle. Also sin theta the whole square or else the cos theta whole square, tan theta whole square or any square of any of the trigonometric ratios. That is applicable only to the trigonometry and not to the angle. So it can be written as sin square theta, cos square theta, tan square theta and so on. So it is not necessary whenever we write on sin theta the whole square that means it is sin square theta. The square is not applicable to the angle along with sine or other trigonometric ratios. The interrelationships that is what we need to remember that tan theta is sin theta upon cos theta. Cosec theta is 1 upon sin theta. Sec theta is 1 upon cos theta. And cot theta is cos theta upon sin theta. And not only that, as you can see that tan theta and cot theta, they have exactly inverse answer. So tan theta can be written as 1 upon cot theta also. And same way cot theta can be written as 1 upon tan theta also. Let me tell you that just like the sides of a triangle, this is very much necessary that you need to remember all these things in the tip of the tongue. It's very firmly you should be knowing these things from left side to right side, right side to left side, then only trigonometry would be easy topic. So we can say that tan theta into cot theta or as cosec theta into sin theta because these two numbers tan into cot is these two numbers and sec into cos that is these two numbers is going to give us 1. We need to remember the values of all the six trigonometric ratios for these five angles that is 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree for sine, cos, tan, cosec, sec and cot. So for sine 0 that is 0, sine 30 is half, sine 45 is 1 upon root 2, sine 30 is root 3 upon 2 and sine 90 is 1. Cos, cos 0 is 1, cos 0, 30 is root 3 upon 2 whereas cos 45 is 1 upon root 2 whereas cos 60 is half and cos 90 is going to be 0. 10 is nothing but sine upon cos, 0 upon 1 is 0, 1 upon 2 upon root 3 upon 2, so 1 upon root 3. Obviously 1 upon root 2 upon 1 upon root 2, that is 1. Similarly sine 10, 60 is third, uh, root 3 and 10, 90, 1 upon 0 cannot be defined. That means it is infinite value. Cosec is inverse of sine, inverse of 0 does not exist. Inverse of half is 2. Inverse of 1 upon root 2 is root 2, uh, root 2. Inverse of root 3 upon 2 is 2 upon root 3. Whereas inverse of 1 is 1. Sec, inverse of cos. And that is what you need to remember. And cot is cos upon sine or else 1 upon 10. 
One thing that we can understand is that if I represent that sine is written in this order, then cos would be written in exactly the opposite order. That means you can see that sine 90 is exactly same as cos 0. Then sine 60 is exactly same as cos 30. Sine 45 and cos 45 they are exactly identical. Whereas sine 30 is exactly same as cos 60. And same is the principle for sine 0 and cos 90. Tan can be written as sine upon cos. Cosec can be written as 1 upon sine. Now, if cosec is written in this order, then sec would be written exactly in the opposite order. And cot can be remembered as cos upon sine or else if tan is written in this order, then the reverse order would give us the value of cot. For complementary angles, the trigonometric ratios can be defined for every theta, which is an acute angle, that is between 0 and 90. Then sine 90 minus theta is cos theta, whereas cos 90 minus theta is sine theta. Same way for tan 90 minus theta is cot theta, and cot 90 minus theta is tan theta. Whereas cosec 90 minus theta is sec theta, and sec 90 minus theta is cosec theta. And the identities that you need to remember in order to prove some of the proof type sums, that is, for every theta that is belonging to R, once again, theta should be an acute angle. And that is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. We can derive that, but we need to remember this for as far as the sums are to be solved. So sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta, or else cos squared theta is same as 1 minus sine squared theta. Sec square theta minus tan square theta is 1, or else sec square theta minus 1 is tan square theta, or else sec square theta is 1 plus tan square theta. Same way, cos x square theta minus cot square theta is 1, cos x square minus 1, that is cos x square theta minus 1 is cot square theta, or else cos x square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta. These identities also you should be knowing how to write it down from left side to right side or from right side to left side. Very important examination point of view and in order to solve the main proof type sums of trigonometry.